let's look at the um, driving point uh, dri driving point impedance for the one port network. So the one port network is let's see if we have a circuit with initial conditions or in zero state, and this circuit is basically a connection of uh, the various elements, but there's no sources inside this. Okay, so this network and there's only one pair of nodes uh, connected to the, the circuit. So this pair of nodes, here we have the voltage across and the current. So in this case, the driving point impedance, the driving point impedance, we use ZS, ZS is just equal V over I. Okay, so in this case, the um, the uh, driving point impedance is also known as so ZS is also is also known as the input impedance. Or the um, the equivalent impedance so this kind of synonymous or interchangeable of the three sort of terminologies okay um, this this actually this just is it almost just a concept right so we can we can see example and and uh, get this Typically, we can solve this by doing the series parallel, right? So if it's a series parallel concept in the last chapter you're not familiar with, you're not comfortable with, uh, you may want to go back to, um, again, because of the the circuit is, is based on that, right? And let's look at another example here. Let's say we have a RL and, and uh, uh, the other circuit we have RC. Let's first see the RL. We have the R is giving one ohm and L is one millihenry, and I find the driving impedance seen by this the driving impedance driving point impedance Z sub one S seen by this voltage source. So in this case, so the Z sub one S and since R and L S they are in parallel, so we can find in two different ways. Right, you can use the product over the sum R times LS over R plus LS. <clears throat> and in that case, we have, we, if you substitute all the numbers in, you get a one times 0.001S over uh, one plus 0.001S, which is equal S over, um, S over S plus a thousand, right? Or you can use the um, the parallel. You can use the one over the admittance. So this is also true if you use one over one over R plus one over L S, which is one over R is equal one over one plus one over point o o one S. Right. So if I mod so in this case, this is a thousand. A thousand divided by uh, s, right? So uh, this is equal one over one plus a thousand divided by s. So I multiply s on the numerator and denominator. I get the same answer. So that's equal s over um, s plus a thousand, right? So let's look at the second one here. The second one here is the um, the resistance in parallel with the capacitance impedance. So in this case, the here the uh, equivalent impedance or the driving point impedance seen by this current source here is uh, z sub two s is equal. We can use the admittance concept. In this case, one over r plus one over one over c s, which is one over R plus C S, right? So in this case, I put the numbers in. I got a one over one plus point oh oh one. I think I give it the number one millifarad here. 
So I put, put uh, 0.001s. So in this case, I get I multiply a thousand by in the numerator denominator. I get s a thousand over s plus a thousand. Okay. And also we can use the product over the sum. And z sub two s is equal to r times one over c s divided by r plus one over c s. So in this case, I'm using the impedance, the product of the two impedances and the sum of these two impedances. In this case, I got um, uh, R over, so I multiply this by CS. And I get one plus, so I got RC, uh, RCS plus one, right? So in this case, I got one over, put the numbers in, I got one over 0.001s, because the one times 0.001, uh, plus one, and that's equal to a thousand over s plus a thousand. Okay, so that's the concept for uh, the driving point impedance for the one port network. And the one port network sometimes it just if, um, uh, for short, it's just saying one port, and you know what. And typically, you just get the impedance, the, uh, the driving point impedance by uh, using the principle of the parallel or series things. Okay, so this is quite straightforward. So let's look at the two-port or the two-port network. Two-port network is a little more interesting. 